Okay, so a lot has happened in <laughs> a very short amount of time, but also a very long time. Um, I apologize for the background noise. My sister's being quite loud in her room. Um, so, first things first. My insulin pump to get the actual paperwork submitted, or ADP, which is like the Ontario government funding program that you can get on, because pumps are really expensive unless you're on that program or your insurance will cover it, took forever. I was approved um, in November of 2020 for the paperwork um, to go through, and it was all ready to go. The only thing is I was switching nurses um, and doctors and healthcare teams um, right around then, which was not a good thing. Um, and so that put a damper on it. It was then, I think I got approved for, there's like an update video on my page back in March, I think, um, saying like I've dropped out the paperwork and it signed. They didn't submit it for another four weeks after that. So the beginning of April, they didn't submit it until the beginning of April. Um, Medtronic then contacted me a couple of times in April trying to get stuff I was trying to get more information because I did not have enough information to make the decision properly and I was trying to get information from them and it took a while. Um, I got the info that I needed for my parents, I got the info I needed for myself um, so we could make that decision as a family. Made the decision and then got sent um, and then it got sent. It got sent the second last week in April around the 21st I think, 26th, they sent me the wrong insulin pump. It then took me a week and a half, almost two weeks, um, to get the correct insulin pump. So I filmed a video, um, which was like an unboxing, what I got when I got my insulin pump video, um, and then I didn't post it. It's been sitting like on my page, pri like just listed as private, um, and waiting for me to decide to post it. But then after spending way too long on the phone on Friday with the service reps. Um, it took everything out of me. Um, they agreed to send me the correct insulin pump um, and that was great. Um, and then it showed up yesterday, I believe. I'm losing track of my days. But back to the Medtronic thing, there's a whole story behind actually getting my insulin pump and what I had to do and the process I had to do to get that physical pump like the correct insulin pump that I needed um, and I can go into detail and do that if people would like um, but it is long it is a long process it was a lot um, so that that is something I can do but I thought I would do a, what I got in my insulin pump videos or boxes so this is for the Medtronic insulin pump um, for the 770, the mid, min, midi, mini med 770G is the one I got. So it came in, oh, it's come in many boxes. So we'll start with this one. Oops, I don't think it's my dress. Um, so we'll start with this one. So in it is the Guardian Link 3, um, which is my sensor. And things, and we well, um, so that is in this box. Um, and then it also came with the sensor insertion spots. Um, and so I have two boxes of those. Um, and there's five in each box, and they last about seven, seven days. So between six and seven days. So that's a like a substantial amount. Um, that's between thirty and forty days. So it's two months worth of stuff. Um, so then in the other box, I got the physical insulin pump, which I will open and go with through you guys in a minute because that's the correct one. Um, because I got two boxes. Two different Medtronic things. I got the Connect Link um, 2.4, which has Bluetooth to the old pump, and then I got the Connect 
uh, AccuGuide um, one, which has a My Sugar sticker, which is also an app that I've used in the past for tracking carbohydrates. Um, so I'm very interested to read more about that. Um, and I did get a box of 100 tester strips to go with this one. Um, I don't know if this connects to this app and or if it connects to my insulin pump because they haven't actually told me. So that's something to keep in mind. Ooh. So I got that. I got the physical pump, the correct one this time. I got the mini med um, inserts, I think that's what these are. Yes, they are the insertion parts for the tubing, and there's 10 of them, and these get changed every three days, I think, every two to three days, depending on how much insulin you use. Um, so I got one box of those, and there's 10 in there. I think I only got one box. And then, oh, I got more of them. So, these are two. There's two in here. And there's two in here. So I have 12 of these, which they change every three days, 34 days roughly, 36 days, which is like a month's supply. So I'm gonna have to get more of these and have to order more of those. Um, and then I also got two boxes of the um, reservoirs. And there's 10 in each of these. Um, which is fantastic. So there's 30 of these, and these get changed, I believe, every time you change one of these. Um, I also got start guides, which I have to read before Friday. <laughs> I'm a very slow reader, so this will be fun. Um, and I also have one in here that I have to read, which I'll take out and show you guys. These are like the how-to books. Um, so I have them both in English and French, um, which is fine. So that is everything out of there. Um, so let's open up this sucker. Let's see if I can do it. There we go. Rip plastic, large. Um, uh, one thing I have learned is that insulin pumps or any kind of, like, especially like diabetes or any kind of chronic illness for that matter, are not environmentally conscious. Um, the amount of waste I produce on a regular basis for um, my, like, diabetes is horrendous. Um, so this is the French how-to guide. Um, which is fine. I won't use the French guide. Don't have any interest in speaking French at all. So this is the Medtronic box um, for the 770G. Um, so it has these freaking plastic pull tabs, which I will keep. There are QR codes on them for some reason. Why, I have no idea. This is also being very difficult to open. Um, so it... This is the first time I'm opening this one, so it has this really nice, like, flap. Ooh, good golly. Um, so here is the actual insulin pump. Let me set this to the side here. So this is the actual insulin pump. Um, I can take this bit off here. Um, it's just like a thing to hold it, but basically, this hole here is where the batteries go, and this is where the actual cannula will go. I'm just going to stick this back in here so I don't get dust or wreck it. Um, but it's very small, it's very lightweight. It doesn't have batteries in it yet, so I'm sure it will be heavier as with the batteries and the liquid in it, but it's nice. So then this here just has a finger hold um, to pull up. So I'm just going to take that out. I'm just going to stick the pump in there um and then let me show you this 
it looks like this with two little compartments. This box is very awkward and I'm struggling with it. Um, so in this first one, which was the one on, when I was holding it up like this, on the left, um, has instructions for something. This little tiny blue thing, which I actually have no idea what it is for. Um, and then the clip for the pump so that it can clip on your belt. I'm very curious to see what this is. So I'm going to see if this, if there's a picture in here, if I can use the picture. Oh, it's cord clips so that um, the tubing, I don't get the tubing stuck. Um, so much because I'm gonna get it stuck. I get everything stuck um, all the time. So that's fun. So that was which is in that one. Um, and then in the other one, there is the cap for the batteries. No idea what this is. It's very weird looking. It says activity guard. So I wonder how you use that. Um, I should probably make sure I figure out how you use the activity guard because I'm a very active person. Um, oh, it just looks like it clips onto the top where your uh, insulin goes to keep it from it coming off or coming out. That is a good thing to have um, and not lose. Um, so there's that, the top of the batteries, and then it comes with two Duracell batteries. Um, we did buy batteries before, well, these aren't Duracell, these are something else. Um, before we, I got my pump, is we did buy batteries. So looking back at the box, if I put the insulin pump back in, looking at this, there's a little pull tab here, which I can't seem to do one handed, and you pull that out, and there is the system guard, um, so I'm just going to pull this out, dump out the system guide, um, and then just put this back in somehow. And close this up. So that is everything there. So this is the system guide um, for the 770G. Um, there is looks like there's like a QR scan code here, so I might see if I can scan this and see what it sends me to. Um, I read this one for the 670G, um, so that I knew. So I have a really good understanding of what is in this book. But these things. So this one and this one are what I'm going to spend my evening doing um, and reading. But I thought before we do that, we would open this one because this is the correct one that goes with the 770G. So again, it has a pull tab here, um, which is really hard, other than it should have been. Um, so you open it up, there's the start guide, which I need to also read, um, it's very similar to the one, the other one, um, it has a inserter, a charger, the actual physical receiver, and then from the videos I've been watching, these are like testers and also how you clean it. So yeah, um, if you have any questions, please let me know and I will try to answer them to the best of my ability and the best I can. Um, this is a lot. Um, that's all the pump stuff that I've received from Medtronic with the exception of a lot of documents that say important things on email, important document on letters and then this um this is just a like phone case um, but it's silicone um so i'm gonna put that on my pump probably tonight um because i will 
scratching really fast. Um, I know you can order different colors on Medtronic, so I probably will order another color just for the fun of it. So I have two of them when I order my um, insertion spots for my pump. Um, but I will see what that will look like um, and what that's going to kind of look like. Besides that, that is everything. The only other thing I got for this that I currently have gotten um, is I just picked up a new disposable sharps container um, from my pharmacy um, because I know that the one I have is almost, it's like three quarters of the way full um, and I want to, I mean, I'll date it on the back probably. I'll just put like empty started um, with the date. Um, which will be Friday. Friday is my pump start date. Um, and I'll just stick that there so I have it. So I can see it. I can t like get a hold of it. Bing, bang. It's done. Um, and then that'll be that. The other things that I'm getting are a three drawer Sterilite container. We actually have one in our basement that's not getting used. Um, so I'm going to use that one. Give it a good clean. Kind of jazz it up a little bit. Might have some fun <laughs> with some colored marker on it. Um, and I'm going to get that, and then I'm going to get like a small one that's three drawers, like little thin drawers, um, for the top for extra things, um, videos and stuff I've watched with people with other pumps, so you kind of build up a supply of things that you need, so, um, that is for sure, um, something that I'm going to do, and kind of once I've got it set up and I've been going for a couple of days, or a couple of weeks, I definitely will do like a here's how I store my stuff video and here's what it looks like. Um, so you can see that. If you have any questions, please let me know. I hope you really enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.